Hi, I'm Dusty with 509 Stoves. Today we're excited to make a video about the Mini Me tiny stove that we're building that burns uh, Presto logs and all densified fuel logs of three and three quarter inches in diameter and under. So this is our Mini Me 8. It holds two to two and a half logs. You drop them down the feed tube here and they stack vertically and our patent is it's gravity fed into a brick line firebox. So with our production model here, be available this summer. We're offering a pre-buy right now for $100 off. Um, you've got 3 16 inch top, you've got a 3 16 inch door, hinges, 3 16 inch latch, um, you've got a 12 gauge damper on the underside, you've got exposed rivets, then on the inside here you've got neoceram glass, you've got brackets that extend almost the full length of the glass so that you get a nice seal uh, to make the stove more airtight. You've got fire rope here that seals directly to the front of the stove. And then you can see we've been burning this. Um, we've had several fires in it and that's that's about the content of the ash after several fires. So we get questions asked to us every now and again about how, how often they'd have to clean it. If you're burning this thing all the time, I'd imagine it's probably going to be in the three to four day range that you'd have to clean it out. Uh, this model, the fire pot is removable. If you ever have to change out the bricks, it takes about five minutes. The whole fire pot comes out with the damper attached, uh, slides out from underneath the stove, put your new bricks in, slide it back in, run your nuts on there, and that's done. So we want to go through the lighting procedure with you on this stove. So first we start off by closing the door. Our damper is in the closed position over here. And today we're going to light with uh, cedar shavings. You can use pine shavings. You can use uh, broken parts of the, of the Presto logs. You can use uh, paper and kindling. You can use fire starters. Uh, I guess for the short of the story, it's very easy to light. Uh, once you get it lit, you just close the door and you can walk away from it. It's, uh, it, it just self-starts. It has a four inch exhaust pipe. So you can use single wall pipe up to 16, 18 inches from your ceiling and then you would transfer to a four inch class A pipe, which is an insulated uh, four inch pipe that has uh, UL testing on it. Clearance for combustibles is back down to about two inches. So it's very safe to get through your roof and attic area and, and your, and your uh, uh, space in between there. And then another option is you can go up, you can turn and go out a sidewall and then go back up and you'll get your draft that way. So guys that are putting these in wall tents, that's probably what they're going to do is just go straight up through the roof of the wall tent. Maybe a guy's got a shed or a garage that he wants to throw one of these heaters in. He can go out the sidewall so you don't have to put a hole in the roof if that's a concern of yours. So we'll go ahead and start by uh, dropping the shavings and things down. And uh, pause the video here for just a second. I'll get this loaded and then I'll show you how we're going to light it. All right, so we're ready to load it. If you want to look at the firebox here, you can see that you've got little tiny broken chunks of the log and you've got some cedar shavings in there. I'm lighting it today with a propane torch because it's just a lot easier than a match. But you'll see, I'm going to open up the damper here to about halfway. And I'm just going to start it here with the torch. Just to light up, light the, light the cedar shavings and whatnot. If you light it with a match, you just basically stick a match down in there and they're going to light the light the cedar shavings on fire. It'll take just a little bit longer, but it will go. And then you close the door. You can see you've got a little bit of flame in there in red. Once that, that builds up just a little bit more temperature, it's going to take right off. And uh, you can open up your damper for some more air. Um, if the fire starts to really flutter on you where it's getting too much air, it's real simple to close down the damper. And uh, once it's lit and going, um, it's safe to burn. All right, so we've got it going. Uh, you can see it's got a real nice flame. We've got our damper open all the way right now for the most air to get it started. Uh, we just literally lit it uh, just a few seconds ago, and it's burning through the cedar there. And you can see the, the little log chips that are down inside there. Um, as it gets more air, builds more heat, so you'll build up your draft. And uh, once it burns through all those little chips and gets to burning on the log, uh, it really it burns really pretty clean. So um, one important thing that we wanted to 
talk about this stove um, now that you you see it burning is the side panel that's built into the stove. Um, it's 18 gauge steel and you can see there's a gap along the top uh, here with the stove so you can already feel even though this thing's only been lit you know a minute or so there's there's already heat coming out of there and that's that's by design. It's a little bit further back in in this area and that will be for mounting a fan on that will be available here in the future and then it's also when if you decide to place this into a corner to take up less space in your uh, build then uh, it has a little extra room here for clearance for combustibles um, we'll have a kit that you can buy that will be metal that you can go on your wall right here that reduces your clearance for combustibles for your exhaust and uh, the stove has holes in the bottom of the feet so you can bolt it to the base that you put it on and uh, we want to remind everybody that this stove is made in Post Falls, Idaho, USA. We're offering $100 off right now for a pre-buy. We're selling several a day, so the sooner you call, the better to get your stove on order. They will be available this summer. I'm Dusty with 509 Stoves. Thanks for watching this video.